Hi guys, so today we're gonna to be practicing drawing um, different characters in different styles. So like that PowerPoint we just went through together, you can see that there's so many different approaches to drawing people. And figuring out what you like and what works for you is really important when it comes to art. Some people just do and like different things. And so today I wanna to just go over briefly just a few little um, tips and tricks for you guys when it comes to just drawing in general. And so when drawing, it's really important to make sure that when you are going to put your lines on the paper, that you are not drawing your lines super dark. You can see the difference between drawing a line really, really light and drawing that same line super dark. If I were to draw my lines the same way I would draw as I'm writing my words, it's gonna be really hard to go and, and erase my drawings. And so one way to help ourselves as we're learning is to learn how to draw really, really lightly. And so I like to hold my pencil a little farther back than when I would write my words. I like to hold it back here to help myself draw lightly. And so when you're going to draw your people, start with your face shape that you want and draw really lightly. You can see I drew kind of like an oval and my lines are really sketchy. And so once you've got a face shape that you like, maybe you want an oval, I'm gonna go back to this shape here since I see it anyway. Maybe I want something a little more fun and funky. This kind of looks like Sandy Cheeks a little bit from SpongeBob. Maybe you want something with a pointy chin. So I do it round at the top. And then as it comes down, have it come in and be kind of pointy. But you can notice all of these different lines that I drew are really, really sketchy. And so I don't like to clean up my lines until I really know that I like what I have going on with my drawing. And so maybe I'm gonna come in now and just sketch out like, oh, like I want my eyebrows here. Maybe I want my nose to be like this and just a very general smile. And then maybe I want my eyes to just be kind of like so. And then maybe I don't like it, so then I can go in and erase the part that I don't like. And so as I'm drawing this in, I'm like, okay, like this is kind of looking the way I want it to. Maybe I'll want to go in and darken the lines of the part that I like so that those are just drawn in. I don't worry about having to erase them because I've already decided that I like what I drew there. But making sure that my lines are nice and light until I go in and draw that in. And so with this face shape here, I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna draw those lines. And then I'm gonna go in and erase all these areas, these sketchy lines that I had. And then maybe I wanna add some form of hair. I can't do a bun because I've got this head shape there. But maybe I wanna go in and draw some hair. Drawing those real sketchy. And then maybe I've got some pigtails. And then I can go in and erase any of those lines that I don't need. Kind of cleaning up my drawing there. And going over the lines that I do need. And so drawing light until you feel good and confident about your drawing will just help you so that you don't have to worry about erasing as hard or as much. 
you don't have to worry about starting over because once you've drawn your lines lightly, you can erase and not start over on a new piece of paper. And so today, you guys are just gonna be practicing drawing different people in different styles. Try as many different styles as you like and as you can so that you can come up with what person, what style works the best for you. And so maybe practice drawing yourself, maybe practicing drawing other people. Today is just a lot of practice drawing a person in a type of style. And so use these tips that I showed you guys today, making sure you draw your lines light until you know it's exactly the way you want it to be. And then you can go in and darken your lines. Remember drawing light, holding your pencil kind of farther down the pencil will help you draw your lines a little bit lighter than you would if you were holding it closer, like when you're writing words on a paper. All right, I hope to see you guys soon. Have a good art class and try to do the best that you can. Don't worry about getting it perfect. Today's all about practice.